Welcome to the Sykes and Company PA video blog. Bill.com is a third-party um, cloud-based accounts payable system. What a client will end up doing, a pharmacy, um, is sending their um, either faxing or emailing their uh, invoices from their vendors um, to a number or an email address that we will get set up for them. And then once the bills are in there, um, they can get an email alert if the owner would like the bookkeeper to know what, if she would like to, uh, he or she would like to approve the bills once they're in there. They could get an alert where they could on their phone or their iPad or anywhere um, get a, a notice about the bills, go in there and approve them for payment. And then the bookkeeper would just pay them and um, keep up with the, the vendors and the information. Um, one of the beauty, um, one of the, the good things about that is once the bill is in bill.com, um, you could actually shred the invoice. You don't have to keep all that paper because it's kept forever in the system. It's very secure. Um, also, we have access to it. You have access to it. You can go in there. So, but the, once the bookkeeper um, and or the pharmacy owner, once the bills are put in there, then they're linked to their QuickBooks and they're posted right to their QuickBooks. So it's pretty seamless um, how that works. Bill.com is the secure cloud-based accounts payable processing system that we use here at Sykes & Company um, to handle clients' accounts payable. It's a very user-friendly system. On here, I've just kind of gone and set up a dummy account, but this is what you would see um, as a client if you logged in to your Bill.com account. Pretty much how this works is any invoice that you receive in your business, you automatically just scan those invoices in to your pre-assigned email address like here you see the Sykes Client Pharmacy Inc. at bill.com. So you would just scan in all your invoices. You can do them in one lump and email them to this email address here. I have gone ahead and um, set up an invoice and scanned it in prior to this. And so you can see over here on your to-do list that I have a um, document in the inbox. Um, Part of our setup process with new clients is that um, our IT department will set up a call prior to this and make sure that the client has all of the correct equipment that they need to be able to use any of our cloud-based products prior to using this system. So before we ever get to this point, they will be set up. They would scan in, stick it in their scanner, all the pages of all their invoices in one lump, save it to their desktop and what most people do is just drag it over to their email and this email address here on the screen would be where they send it. Once the documents hit, I get an email or whoever is working on your, your team for, your, for the particular client will get an email immediately that alerts them to let them know that something has been entered into Bill.com, it's been scanned in. So we can um, immediately go into our system, which we pretty much see the same screen and I'll kind of show you what we do on our end. Now the client usually, unless they're handling this themselves, which we can do training to allow the client to handle this part of the process themselves, but usually if it's a, um, if they're a daily client that we, full controllership where we handle their day-to-day -day processes, this is what we would do on our end. But we come in and we're able to click on the bill and we're able to see the bill here. We only have one bill here, but if they had scanned in 10 bills, they would all be here. And simply all we do then is we look and over here in the vendor, I can enter the vendor name, the invoice number right from the bill, the invoice date, and the due date. <clears throat> and I'm just going to make one up here. And the amount. And the account is what we would enter next. Here is where we are able to select an approver. Usually we would have the client set up here um, and they would be the approver of the bill. In other words, what the process I'm doing right now is just getting the bill into the payable system. It's not paying the bill, it's not authorizing the bill to be paid. So if I had made an error here and put $2,000, this bill is not being paid. It's just put into the system. When I hit save, an email is automatically generated to the client that alerts them to let them know that there are bills in bill.com to be paid. On a daily basis, a client will get a summary email every morning to let them know the bills that are out there to be paid. It lists the due dates and shows what needs to be paid. 
and they're able to log into their system again and they would see this screen that shows them what needs to be paid. All they would do at this point is click over here when they're ready to pay the bill. And they would hit pay bill is usually what it would say here if I had the bank account set up. Most clients usually will assign this task to a technician or somebody on staff there already in the pharmacy to just open mail and stick the bills in because like I said, just emailing the bills does not submit payment. It just gets them in the system. So the client only really has to be concerned with getting that daily email to let them know what's out there to be paid. And the email summary shows them how many days left till it's due and that sort of thing. So they can spend their time filling scripts and interacting with their customers and not having to worry about the mundane tasks of paying their bills. They usually can just send that over to somebody else on staff to scan in those documents. We handle coding out the information on here and they can just go in here when they're ready at any point in time, anywhere they have an internet connection um, or either on their iPad, they're able to just click beside the bill when they're ready to pay them and they hit submit and they're gone. Everything about bill.com syncs with your QuickBooks file that we are will already have set up. So, and we handle that as well. So, every bit of information that's in bill.com syncs with your QuickBooks file and gets into your payable system. So, if I look in your QuickBooks file, I will see that bill now that we went through for that amount in payables. The neat thing about bill.com is that you're we're able to keep your accounts payable, reconciled and up to date. In a situation where many clients are just writing checks manually, those expenses are not coded in the correct months. They're coded and expensed in the month that the check was written and not actually for when the expense was incurred. When we use this system, we're able to put the bill date in the system and it goes into the payables in the correct time period that the expense was incurred. At first, um, when they start using Bill.com, they're a little leery. They don't quite understand how it works. But once I tell everybody when I start out, um, I said, just scan in one bill and let the system take over and show you how, how it's done. It's very user friendly. Everything is triggered with an email with instructions. So as soon as a bill is scanned into Bill.com, they automatically get an email. And the email will tell them click here to go to your account and from there there's instructions to show them step by step how to get the bills approved and paid. The link with QuickBooks to be able to um, to post your bills, to keep up with them, the electronic end of it, and to not have to worry about um, um, posting um, things manually to your accounting system. It just goes pretty seamless. And um, Bill.com will remember where things are posted. And um, the next time you go to enter a bill, it'll already be there, you know, who it should go to and what expense account. So once you learn the system, it becomes, you know, automatic. We give you good training with Bill.com so you can call us. There are some things that um, might happen and Bill.com has their own chat and their own support where they can walk you through some things. So that's an either or situation. Most people end up calling us and then we help them through it. Some Bill.com clients, they want to do their own thing. Um, they scan their bills, they link the vendor and the GL account and they pay their own bills. We're not involved with it. We just set up the service. Um, and then there are other bill.com clients that they have a tech that scans the paperwork and that's all they do until they're sitting at Starbucks in the morning and they're looking at their bills and the, the pharmacy owner is going, uh, pay bill, pay bill, pay bill, or pay all. Um, that's the level of service they want with bill.com. So you, you do have a range of uh, levels of service with bill.com it's not black and white it's very colorful um, and making sure that you get a good fit there is is very important thank you for joining us today 
You can find more information and future video blogs at the Sykes website, www.sykes-cpa.com. If you have questions, please feel free to contact Alwyn Sykes directly at the information listed below. Thank you.